This turkey chili recipe was actually an accident. It was one of those, right, what have I got in the fridge type recipes that was thrown together in a hurry, but the outcome has exceeded any expectations I had. Truth be told, it's probably my favorite turkey mince recipe of all time. Now the secret is the smoked chili paste. Add it to any dish and you know you're going to be on to an absolute winner. Hey, I'm nutritionist Scott Abde and welcome back to my Food for Fitness kitchen. Now for some reason in the UK, turkey mince doesn't seem to be that popular. It's big over in the US, but for some reason, it's not achieved the same levels of success this side of the pond. Perhaps it's because the way most people cook it, they perceive that it's going to be quite dull and a bit dry. But if you cook it right, it's an extremely lean, cost-effective cut of meat. And it takes on a lot more of the flavors from the dish compared to say beef mince. So when you add in some flavors like chipotle paste, fajita seasoning, beer, smoked bacon, it just elevates that turkey mince to a whole new level. So you need to trust me, if you've previously not been a fan of turkey mince, this recipe is one of those ones that is hopefully going to change your mind. And this is exactly how you cook it. First thing we're going to do is our veg prep. So we're going to chop up an onion along with two peppers. I'm using a red pepper and a green pepper, and then chop up some bacon medallions. That's essentially the meaty part of the bacon with the fat removed. And then you're going to heat some oil in a large pan, and you're just going to fry that for five to 10 minutes until the veggies start to soften and the onions start to turn a little bit brown. Once that is cooked through, then you're going to add in your spices and your seasonings. We're going to start by using smoked chili paste. You can get this in pretty much all supermarkets, so if you've never bought it before, don't worry. Then add some tomato puree and some garlic cloves and then a tablespoon of fajita seasoning. Cook that through for a further 30 seconds to a minute. And at this point in the video, if you're enjoying it, it'd be great if you could hit that like button. It really does help support the channel and I would very much appreciate it. Then what you need to do now is add the turkey mince, make sure to remove the bit of paper, and then cook that until it is no longer pink. If you're not a fan of turkey mince, you could use pork mince or beef mince. I think turkey mince works best and it seems to absorb more of the flavors compared to other meats. Then add your chopped tomatoes along with a beer. I'm just using any general lager that I had in the fridge. It doesn't really matter what you use. If you use a stronger beer, then it's going to affect the flavor more. So I would use something fairly light. And then just mix all of that through and simmer for about 30 minutes on a low to medium heat to allow the tomatoes to break down and the sauce to thicken. Then all that's left is just to plate it up, serve it with whatever you choose and garnish with some in green. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoy it. So that is how you make turkey and bacon chili. In my opinion, one of the best things that you could make with a pack of turkey mints or ground turkey for my American friends. I absolutely love the simplicity of this dish and it tastes really, really good as well. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are a new viewer or if you've not had a chance yet, make sure to click that subscribe button because I'm posting new high protein recipes about twice a week, usually on a Monday and Thursday. And if you're subscribed, you'll get notified as soon as I post a new recipe so you won't miss out. Hit that like button if you've not had a chance yet and drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe once you've made it. Right, I'm off to go and eat it. I'll speak to you later.